Patients suffering from inflammatory bowel diseases can be treated with the biologics infliximab or adalimumab. Previous studies showed the usefulness of therapeutic drug monitoring with rapid assays to adjust the patient's biologic concentration individually. A hindrance for true point-of-care use of these assays is their dependency on serum as analyte matrix, because serum preparation from whole blood is time-intensive and requires additional laboratory equipment like pipettes or a centrifuge. So the goal of this project was to design lateral flow assay kits for the detection of infliximab and adalimumab in capillary blood, but enables true point-of-care use. A blood sampling procedure was designed in such a way that disposable capillaries are used to transfer blood samples into a dropper bottle that is pre-filled with chase buffer and the mixture is then applied on an already existing letter flow assay test cassette that is already used for serum measurements of infliximab and adalimumab. Everything is then measured with a quantum blue reader. In a matrix agreement study, spiked ETT whole blood samples and spiked capillary blood samples were compared to serum samples used as a reference, shown here in figure 2 and 3. The analysis revealed a bias of less than 15% at the clinical decision points for both assays and both matrices. To investigate potential interactions caused by the blood matrix, three different abnormal blood conditions have been prepared – icteric blood, hemolytic blood and lipemic blood. These samples were compared to untreated EDTA whole blood samples, shown here in Figure 4. The bias did not exceed more than 30% for both assays and all the matrices compared to untreated samples, which was our acceptance criteria. So you can say that two point-of-care assays for the analysis of infliximab and adalimumab in capillary and whole blood samples have been successfully developed and can be used by healthcare professionals with time to result of only 15 minutes and are ideal for therapeutic drug monitoring in a physician's office or an infusion center.